So uh, Misha is the CEO of a company called Open Garden, and Open Garden has been making some incredible strides uh, in the peer-to-peer -peer space, uh, mesh networks and whatnot, and their breakthrough with Fire Chat is an eye-opener, and I think you guys will agree. Hello. Hi, everyone. Oh. Hi, everyone. My name is uh, Misha, and I am a co-founder of a small startup called uh, Open Garden. And uh, we were here, I think, a, a year ago to, to present uh, the first application that we brought to the market that, was, uh, that is using our peer-to-peer -peer mesh technology called uh, Open Garden. Uh, so I want to thank uh, Miles and all his, and his team for the terrific work, and it's always a great pleasure to be to be here with uh, with Miles and his team and all of you. Um, so I'm going to start with a very easy, simple question that I asked, I think, a year ago. But it's how many of you have ever been uh, stuck with uh, no mobile internet connection or a slow mobile internet connection? Please uh, raise your hand. So yes, almost everyone here, and it's it's the case every day for all of us. And um, so that's the, the problem we are solving with Open Garden is uh, provide you with uh, ubiquitous mobile internet access and more precisely with uh, ubiquitous connectivity. Um, and the way we do that is by providing you with connectivity through the people and devices that are around you. And um, I'm going to show you uh, an example of a uh, a peer-to-peer -peer mesh network that uh, was built uh, last year during an event, and that's a, a graphic representation of the network that you can see on the app when you are connected to uh, other people and devices around you. So uh, we got a good start with this app, pretty uh, successful, um, a great adoption all over the globe, uh, but we, we wanted for a long time to really uh, start to, uh, to go mainstream with a more um, mainstream application. So we, we, we saw a lot of what we could launch to make that happen. And um, during uh, last summer, we figured out that uh, iOS also uh, launched uh, so, um, a peer-to-peer -peer connectivity framework, which would enable us actually to bring this technology to, uh, to uh, Apple devices. So we thought, okay, it's the time we need to, to bring something to on iOS and uh, really uh, uh, show the world what this technology can do. So we, uh, we decided to bring uh, an application called FireChat that uh, enables you to keep on messaging and sending messages to people around you even when you, when you don't have in, any internet access. So let me show you FireChat. So there is a... In, in every one mode in FireChat where you can, uh, it's a basic chat room like you had uh, on IOL in the 90s where you can chat with uh, a lot of people uh, next to you with, and requires to be connected to the internet. But the most interesting is the nearby feature when uh, basically you can uh, interact with people around you even if you don't have any internet access. And the way it works, it creates links directly to other devices and then you can start to exchange messages with, uh, with people around. Uh, it's pretty disruptive. We we got a crazy adoption and traction since we launched. Like uh, after 15 days, we were number one in 15 countries uh, in social networking apps uh, in 15 countries. So uh, I think we were number one in, uh, in Spain, in Australia, number two in Singapore, number one in Taiwan during the, the sunflower movement of the students there who used it to communicate when the government wanted to shut down the internet. Um, I think we are in the top 10 uh, in, in social networking in 115 countries. So, I mean, we are just, uh, so we were surprised, but also uh, it's, uh, it's an amazing push and we are making discoveries every day to figure out how to adapt the product and making it uh, uh, even more useful for our users and uh, to delight our users. Um, the big surprise uh, we brought to the market is uh, 10 days after launching it on iOS, we uh, launched the same application on Android using the whole peer-to-peer -peer networking technology we developed during uh, uh, two and a half years. And uh, so that's where we are today. And thank you, and I'm happy to answer all your questions.
Thank you very much. It looks like a great idea. I'm not saying that because you're from France and I'm from France. I really like it. it re it's really good. <laughs> Um, my question is, how does it work? I know that you can sometimes, from your device, use your Wi-Fi antenna, but this is not the case, right? So we use, um, depending on the, which platform, the Android or the, the iOS platform, we use uh, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Um, on iOS, it's uh, the implementation of uh, Wi-Fi direct that my Apple called the, the, uh, basically it's what you use when you use AirDrop. And on, uh, on Android, we use Wi-Fi direct and Bluetooth. And uh, what is the reach of this? So typically between 30 to 100 feet. And um, we can also multi-hop. That means that your messages can bounce from one smartphone to another. And especially with text, there is, I mean, I wouldn't say no limit, but uh, yeah, close to no limit on how far you can go just through the peer-to-peer -peer mesh. Have you seen downtown? There are some uh, stores that have this little device connected on the iPad so that you can, they can charge you with the iPad, which turns into a cash register, and then with the device, they swipe the card, right? You've seen that device. You haven't? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. OK, um, do you think, like, imagine I'm a hiker, and I want to communicate with my other hikers from my group. Do you think you have a little device that could like, extend the connectivity of, my, of your device? We use whichever available in wireless interface is on the device. If there was a hardware that could extend that, we could use it probably. Um, but uh, with the multi-hopping, you can actually it can you can reach uh, a lot of people and go pretty far. So, thank you. Well then. I'm just curious, actually. I, I was just about to install FireChat, and I noticed you actually take uh, social information and, cont and contact permissions. Mm -hmm. What do you actually use those for? So today, we are not using this information, uh, and uh, most probably uh, with the, within the future updates, we're going to provide additional uh, features. So that's okay, why. So, so it's just there for future proofing. All right, fair enough. Hi, thanks for coming out. Um, sorry, I'm having a little trouble controlling the sound of my voice. Um, on going back to the sort of mesh network uh, fundamentals, what, from FireChat's the only application that you guys are shipping right now in the store? No, we have uh, in the field of wireless uh, a few applications on Android. Okay. With uh, probably, uh, I mean, in total more than 5 million installs within all the apps. Uh, and uh, on iOS, the only app we have is FireChat. So just in terms of building large open mesh networks, I've been working on this for a long time. How do you pay for it? You mean how do you? How do you? Um, if we pay for anything, that's what you mean, or? How, how, wh what's the economic incentive for people okay, to so the, build the business, these networks? Yeah. The, the business model for the company, you mean? Well, okay. Yeah. So we, we want to stay uh, free uh, for the end users, and the purpose of this technology is really to, to disrupt the whole mobile internet industry. Um, we want you to be able to send messages and tomorrow to be connected to the internet uh, always f completely for free. And uh, so that this technology is going down that path. Um, that said, uh, w when, once we scale, we basically um, own a, a network which is completely virtual, and then we can monetize that network that then, like any other uh, carrier or mobile operator. Um, and by that, I mean you can imagine that there are a lot of items on a mobile and network on the internet that have a lot of value ads, but in a purchase, these kind of uh, items. And then uh, we intend to, to monetize by taking a cut when we enable these, uh, these items to, to move through our network. Uh, is, it, uh, is it totally public, or can you create a private network within anyone nearby? Um, it's a good question. We, we started with a completely open uh, chat room. So when you broadcast a message, everyone nearby can uh, actually see the message and answer to it. And in the a, in a very near future, so I would say very soon, uh, you will be able to have private um, um, chat rooms and uh, even more. I'm back here, guys. Anybody? Any other questions or? Okay, we have okay. 20. Thank you, thank you very much. Very good, thank, thank you, Mike. You,